Assalamu alaikum viewers my name is Shahzad Khan and today we discuss about we discuss about collections apex collection and how to use in collection in apex so first of all collection in oracle apex allow you to store non scalar values non scalar values means the array and structure format values store and group of related data temporarily in the current session your uh, your report data your item value data store in the current session using collection collection store group of related data elements or values with a single name within a session we can access collection data with the provided collection name this like below the report uh collection name emp collection is a collection name and this is your sequence till and uh, all attributes is a collections column with a map of tables columns advantage of collections collections advantage first of all uh advantage data persistence across page views and second advantage maintained at session level so data are secure and avoid multiple db calls and third when reference using the data using the data apex collection views and fourth apex manage the value using the session thread and create collection api how to create api in the collection api in apex so first of all procedure to create empty collection if you use create empty collection so use Uh, apex collection dot create collection. This is your collection name variable and p truncate. This is mean if already collection create in your apex uh, session. So this variable to truncate for the existing collection. Second means procedure to create collection uh, collection the all collection which is so we use this uh, procedure for the collection. A procedure to create a collection for the supplied query. If you use the uh, query with the collection, so to use this format procedure in the Apex collection name p query in the voucher with the your store your query and p generate mp5 your query format and p target if this is your collection list. Just like a demo table for insertion with the help of Apex collection, so we use this table for the collection uh, format. For each row in session, with the help of this table. So this is my table: shops, shop ID, shop name, and location. So let's uh, we starting a demo. So first of all, we create this table in your uh, Apex uh, schema. We I have already created this uh, table in uh, Apex workspace. Now. Add member collection process. Uh, add member means store item or column values in a collection. So we use this process uh, for the storing the item or maybe collect column. If you use the report, interactive report, a classic report, with the help of the collection. So uh, add member uh, helping the storing the value in the collection thread. So first of all, we decreate begin. If not apex collection dot collection exists mean if collection already exists so perform this else else uh, uh, query truncate collection if uh, already not exist your collection so apex collection dot create collection check call check call means your collection name check underscore is your collection name. now apex collection dot m add member add members means first of all you define your collection name. And define your page item or maybe your collection call table column in in the add member collection. So this is my page three call table column. So shop ID, shop name, and D name. Sorry, location. So we use this uh, three column for the storing the item value in the collection. So we uh, C double zero one the shop ID item. C double zero two the shop name item name and C double three is the location item name. So now last one is when you create a add member collection process. So last one is uh, when user insertion the record with the help of the page item. So performing this PL SQL process 
insertion record using collection process so normally begin and insert into your table name and this is your column and values replace with your collection uh, select collection name from apex selection we have collection name like this check collection okay so now let's start the demo so first of all we create a table shop i'm already create this table so and we i'm already create a page and with the help of three page item and one button for the insertion process so now we create a less one and this this is your three page item and no session collection value okay so first of all we create a process for add member collection so add member collection so copy this query and paste and replace the page item in your this item shop id first page item shop name second page item and last one is location page item now compile Okay. Now we create a session process for the insert record. So copy this query. And create a process. Uh, begin and insert into shop this is your table name this is your column and values values is replaced with your collection column name c001 is the, your shop id then shop name is c002 for restoring the your column value and loc store the c003 collection okay insert collection Next, uh, let's insert one record. Now, when we create insertion for the record, so look at insert your data in your table and go to the session. This is your page item value and go to the collection. For the store your value C001 200 C00 this and C03 and this is your collection name and this is your sequence. So this your value is stored in the in the session instead with the help of the collection. Now change the value. insert so go to the session and go to the collection and look at this is your collection value each record in session step by step and store the value in the collection okay so i think uh, today we clear the collection topic and insert each record the table using FX collection so 
next video we use this collection with the help of interactive report and insertion and insert multiple records for the loop with the help of loop so thank you for watching video